quiet, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Quiet, quiet on the set. Welcome to Boba and a Movie, the show about independent films and filmmakers. Our mission is to highlight the talents of the Asian American filmmaking community, all while introducing you to the world of boba drinks. My name is Adrian Zaw. And I'm Nora Jesse. And you just saw a clip from a little independent movie called Spare Parts, in which Adrian and I co-starred. Exactly. Now that was a pretty interesting film, right Nora? It sure was. You know, independent films are how a lot of directors and actors get started. In Spare Parts, we worked with director Daniel Chu for several weeks. But because it was an independent, low-budget film, it was only one or two days out of the week. Yeah, because most of us have day jobs, right? Most of us. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is an independent film. Well, it's basically a movie that's produced outside the traditional studio system and represents a sharp contrast to the big-budget mainstream movies that you're used to seeing commercials for. Because, well, independent films just don't have the budget for commercials, do they? Not usually. In fact, the cost of an independent movie usually runs about one-fourth the cost of a big Hollywood movie. And sometimes a lot less. But despite the cost, some of them can be amazing, and while others... Need a little help? Yeah, in nicer terms. But on our show, we'll be bringing you a vast variety of works from all different levels. That's right. What better way to learn about it, right? Exactly. And I personally can't imagine a better place to watch movies than here at Tapioca Express, where we can enjoy Boba and the movie. Nice plug, Adrian. Right, thank you, Nora. And today, our first Boba drinks are served to us by Daniel Liu, owner of this Tapioca Express here in Westminster, California. Hi, Daniel. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? It's a popular coconut jelly milk tea with Boba. Wow, thank you very much. And here's a famous Thai tea with Boba. Okay, so what exactly is boba? What is that stuff? Drink actually is different variety of uh, uh, delicious drink like the fresh juice, coffee, smoothie, or tea, and then we add the boba or different jelly into it. Wow, that sounds really nice. How many flavors are there? There seems to be a lot. Yeah, on the manual you can have uh, a couple hundreds of different boba drinks. Wow, all, two, a couple hundred. Yeah, and also we have uh, manager special. And also, you can tell it to your specific taste. Wow, two, a couple hundred? Yeah, a couple That's hundred. right. You can have a boba, a different boba every day of the year. <laughs> oh, in yeah. a year. You can. Well, Adrian, let's get back on track now. And uh, why don't you tell them about today's movie? Okay, all right. Well, today we have a, f a short comedy, action comedy for you by Tran Kwok Bo called Carmen's Virtue, starring Megan Stacker and Andrew McIntyre. Right, this movie is about a girl named Carmen who witnesses a kidnapping and turns to her less than willing uh, boyfriend, Kai, mm. for comfort. Now, when the kidnappers find out that Carmen knows, Kai has to step it up and prove his worth as uh, he and his friends are drawn into danger. Interesting. Maiden in distress, adventure, danger, and some babes. Now that sounds like the story of my life. Yeah, I can see the less than willing part. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, without further ado, here is Carmen's Virtue by Tran Kwok Bao. Now that's love. A little more than he deserves, I think. 
But before we get too judgmental, let's hear from the director himself, Tran Kwok Thao. My name's Boa. You can call me Boa. Boa. That's what usually happens at the bank. My name is Bao. That's how they say my name. Well, my heritage is Vietnamese, and the name is Vietnamese. My middle name is Quoc, Quoc Bao, and uh, it really means national treasure. Well, I was born here okay. in America. Um, I got into movies really young, about probably 12 years old, and then I, you just watch a lot of kung fu movies like Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, and you're like, I want to do that. So you run out into the backyard, and you're like, hey, jump off this deck here, like climb up the roof and jump. And it was like, I don't know if that works so well, and you fell on your head and stuff. But then you do it again. So I guess you just, we just want to try different things and emulate basically what we were saying. And it's just, it's, that's I guess how it grows and it becomes infectious and you want to try more things and try different things and be more ambitious the next time around. So you're always shooting something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and pretty soon suddenly you realize that you're making movies on a certain type of certain level of competency that you're like, oh, I'm a filmmaker. But uh, really, if you're if you're doing it from in your backyard or Hi, how are you? Okay, here's your. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> my mind is so many places, yeah. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, here's your... Suddenly... <laughs> Nice plug, Adrian.